Hello, welcome to Texture. What we're going to do today is I'm going to demonstrate three different techniques so that you can use texture in your artworks. In the end, what we're going to do is we're going to build these textured pieces into a small little tiny abstract expressionist collage so that again, you've got the idea of what texture is and how you can use it to create an artwork and to create a collage. So the first type of texture we're going to use is called frotage. Uh, frotage is designs and textural effects created by placing paper over objects that have raised surfaces and then rubbing the paper with graphite, wax, or crayon. And what we're going to do is we're going to use crayon. So I've grabbed a few crayons out of my trusty crayon bucket. I'm going to go find a raised textured surface. So over here, we've got a raised textured surface of a brick wall. And so what I'll do is I'll use the side of my crayon to rub that and get a real nice texture there. And I might also take a second color and add that to it. These two colors tend to be a little bit better than one. I can use an analogous color like I've got here, or I can use a color that is very different and, oh, maybe like a complement. See what a complement does. So red and green act very differently, or a purple and green act very different than a purple and then a dark purple. So there's one set of textures, and you can see what I can do with another one. Grab a hat from my bucket and another piece of paper. You can see what adding this texture does. I'm using the sides of my crayons to deal with this. Sometimes the textures give the idea of another surface. This to me instantly looks like some sort of snake skin or something like that. So I can use frotage to do some rubbings and get a great texture like that. The second type of texture that I'm going to use is called grattage. And grattage is a texture created when wet paint is scratched with a variety of tools, such as forks, razors, and combs. And while I don't have, apparently I'm totally, there we go, there's my paints. Uh, while I don't have any forks, razors, or combs, I am going to use the back end of a paintbrush. Hold that thought. No, nope, that's not a paintbrush. Well, oh, here's a brush. One and done. There is no editing to this. So what I'll do is I will take the paint and I'll put my paint down. And while this paint is still wet, nice big thick bold paint marks in here, I can take another tool like a palette knife or the back end of the brush itself and I can scratch into that. Now one of the other things with acrylics we can do is we can paint one area and I could let it dry and then I could paint another area or another color over the top of it. Probably not gonna get dry fast enough, but I could paint over the top of it lightly. This is dry, pretend this is dry paint. And I could scratch into that and let that red show up between there. And so that is grattage. So we have frotage with the rubbing of crayons and grattage with the, uh, the application of paint and then scraping it away. And the third one, dropped my paper earlier, the third one is decalcomania. And this is, this is like when my therapist shows me my ink blot paintings. Um, I'll paint one area. And again, this is very wet paint. I'll paint that down, lots of color. I will, of course, have rinsed my brushes between dipping in, but because this is all extra paint. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this in half. And the problem people have is they don't press down hard enough or they forget to open it up. And once you open it up, you're going to get that great texture. So I've got really wonderful textures here as well as the thinner textures here. So what we've got is frotage with the rubbings, grattage with the scraping in, and decalcomania. And the definition for decalcomania is paint is forced into random textured patterns. Paint is placed between two canvases surfaces 
and then the canvases or paper is pulled apart. So those are our three different techniques, fr frotage, grattage, and decalcomania. Thanks, time to collage.